Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, some horrible news, some tragic news, but also some amazing news. So there's a lot of news, so cue the intro. Okay, so let's have a little bit of a chat as per usual. What I've decided to do is take the monkey cycle bike out for a spin and let you guys know kind of what's going on via the channel, the news, kind of everything that's happened. Now, I shouldn't be riding today. That's what I kind of really need to start this off with. I shouldn't be riding today because I should be coming back in the, mo in the monkey cycle camper van with my daughter from Wales because we were having a little trip to Snowdon this weekend because many years ago, I bought her a little sheep when she was first born and I walked basically to the top of the mountain, bought a little fluffy sheep um, from the shop at the top because there's a little shop up there because there's a train and stuff that goes up um, and I brought it all the way down to it and I always told a story, daddy went to the top of the mountain and rescued a sheep and brought it down called Baba. So I've always promised her I would go back and this was, the, this was the time, this was the year that I said to her, we're going to take the monkey cycle camp van, we're going to go up there, we're going to camp for a couple of days, we're going to walk the mountain. And it all went wrong, let me explain. Let's get going. Okay, so I'll start this as the means go on. There is some amazing, fantastic, humbling for me personally, news to share about the big idea. But I just want to crack quickly on about the monkey cycle. So we drove all the way to Wales in it, didn't miss a beat. We got there. We camped the first night, had a great time. Anyway, going to Snowdon, we're going towards Betsy Cupboard from the campsite that was amazing. And it started making a noise and the temperature gauge shot up, pulled over, let it cool down, couldn't see any issues with uh, pressure uh, from the header tank, etc, etc, etc. I went, well, cool, we'll, you know, there's no level problems, we'll continue on. We'll go for a couple more miles and see what happens, thinking, you know, it might have just been such a hot day and it climbed a couple of big sort of mountainy hills. Anyway, it made the worst, the, the noise got worse, I had to pull over and stop. I thought it was a leak because I saw some water coming out, it turned out not to be. It turned out, I called the AA, they were absolutely fantastic. Um, it was a really busy day, so I had to wait for many hours, but they were really fantastic. Anyway, the head gasket's gone, the gas coming out of the header tank. So the Monkey Cycle Camp Van is pretty much now dead in the water. Now, I'm not giving up on it because I generally think it's a good investment and it's part of the channel. So I'm planning on either getting the head gasket done or changing the engine. There's a few other bits that needed to be done by the end of this month for its MOT, including some welding, a few uh, a few um, gaiters and stuff that need to be changed underneath, etc., etc., um, for its MOT and stuff as well. It needed new tyres. So there's a list of stuff anyway. This is just added to it, and unfortunately, it's well out of my price range currently, but I will get it sorted. Um, and it will be all the better for it because it will have all new gasket, have a you know a, a better engine in it and all that stuff. So positive side of it, the Monk Cycle Van will be back, better, stronger and hopefully more stable on the big trip. Now, what I want to jump onto is obviously the important stuff and I'm going to chat about that as we're riding again. Um, and that's obviously the big idea, the vision that I had about a vision. So, let's crack on with that. Okay, so... What I want to talk about is the big idea. Now, if you've not seen the video, go back and watch it. It goes into a little bit more detail, but just to run really quickly through it. When I was younger, I bought a Honda Vision. That was the first motorcycle I ever had. The rough speed of it is 28 miles an hour. My plan is to purchase a Honda Vision, ride it to the end of the world. And the end of the world, when I say that, is Skeg Vegas. The amazing place of Skeg Vegas. Everything's there, theme park, sea, sand, craziness plan is to go there when they get there we'll spend a the night there whoa we'll spend a the night there and we will then go for a coastal ride ride back all the way the next day and this is all to raise money for PTSD now when I said about the big idea because of funds and costs etc etc it costs a lot of money to do this I wanted to give an opportunity out there to obviously help me to make my dream come true now my dreams are always bonkers without a doubt and I'm always impressed on how, how many people get right behind the entire thing. And people do legendary, awesomely, they get right behind my trips. And it's absolutely amazing. 
So I put it out there. I said, I want this to happen. It's going to take me a while to save it to make it happen. Would anyone like to donate to making it happen as little or as much as they can so we can buy the bike to raise money for charity? And I also put out there, if people donate £30 or more, I'll add their name to it as part of the graphics that go on the bike. They'll have their names put on there. And if you're a YouTube channel, it's exactly the same thing. Donate £30 or more. And if you've got a sticker, send it to me, I'll put it on. Or if not, I will get your name made up as part of the graphics. And I left it out there thinking that, you know, as always, people probably think it's bonkers. They probably won't be that interested. But as always, as always, as always, massively to my surprise, people have donated. And I just want to turn around and say straight away, I'm again humbled, massively humbled. It's an idea, PTSD UK is close to my heart, like I said before, and I like raising money for them. We've done a charity run before. This is the second one this year, actually. And I want it to be bigger, better and bonkers. And I can't see anything bigger and bonkers than buying a little 50cc from the early 80s and riding it all the way to the coast. Daft, fun, silly adventure and getting it all on camera. So anyway, people have donated and all I can turn around and say is, is that I'm hugely taken back by it, massively shocked and so grateful that people want to back this idea. They want to raise money for PTSD and they want to help me achieve it. So I want to kick off with the YouTube channel that currently is supporting this trip, who's backing it 100%, who has put some money down, who is absolutely 100% awesome, Fentor. Now, if you've not seen Fen Fentor's channel, he has a bit of a laugh, he goes through different stuff, he's a good giggle, and he's a big supporter of Helmet Head's channel. So if you could, there'll be a link in the description, click it, go and check out his stuff and subscribe. I'm gonna put his sticker on this trip, and because it's going on there, it's gonna be world famous and that's what we're going to do. Now I've got backing from many of the people as well. Are you ready for the list? Because this is absolutely awesome. And they've all got a little bit of a story so far, the people have donated. So I want to crack, like, crack straight off with, if you watch the last series that come out, the legendary series, there was a man that was a human ramp, turned up at the trip as it was an open invite, came along, came out with a bonkers idea because I wanted a ring of fire and he went one step further and go, I'm going to be better than that, I'm going to be a human ramp. And he made himself a legend. And as we all know him as Andy the legend, Andrew Moore, that's his proper name, he has donated to this on Division to make this dream come true. So I thank you, and Andrew Moore, thank you so much. You made the last trip and you're helping make this trip happen. You are a legend and you'll always be called Andy the legend. Awesome guy. And I actually already miss you. I wish you were local because we could have some amazing adventures together. Then, to come up what happened next, there is a guy who was one of the first ever people to buy a hon uh, helmet head. The first ever person, or people I should say, to buy a helmet head mug. Now the mug claims unofficially not tested in any way, not proven to be able to take any drink and make it absolutely amazing. They say a hundred times better. And, you know, it's got to be true because it's probably somewhere on Wikipedia. So, basically, he bought a mug and he poured some Guinness in it. And what happened was, he tasted it and said it tastes as good, if not better. Like he has gone to Ireland and had it freshly poured, poured out of the tap. Freshly poured out of the tap. And he's donated to make this happen as well. So thank you, Andy Todd, you are a legend and I'm looking forward to adding your name to the list. And then of course, there is one more. The guy, the man who made Helmet Head a Lord. This man made dreams come true for me already and he's doing it again. He's donated to make this happen. And his name is Steve Bolter. Steve Bolter is the highest tier patron He's a big supporter. He often sends me things through the post to support the channel. He gives me good ideas. The guy is an absolute legend. He is absolutely a huge supporter and I can't thank him enough. And he has donated, so his name is added to this list. So that's so far, they're the names that's added. Now it's massively still open. If anybody wants to get on board, up to when the graphics get made, and as soon as the graphics are made, I am gonna take that down. But if you wanna get on board, and you want your name on the charity bike, your YouTube channel, even your company, 
let me know. If you've got your own sticker for your YouTube channel, your own graphics for your um, company, as long as it's normal size to go on a Vespa, it's not going to take the whole bike up, we'll put it on. And that is really, really cool. So that's still open, it's still out there. If you want to help, go sort of to fund this. Now, let's crack on with what's going on. So, there is currently only one Honda Vision. One Honda Vision I can find for sale in the whole of the UK. And I thought there was going to be plenty, and I thought it wasn't going to be expensive, but there's one. And I'm going to buy it. I'm going to sum up, I'm going to buy it, okay? That is my plan. I'm going to buy it, and I think it's not going to be cheap. But it'll be whatever it will be. And of course, like I said, the donations are towards it. I am going to fund this. And, you know, I'm going to pay the difference out of my own pocket, but the funding will help massively. Oh, and if we get enough funding to pay for the entire thing, and there's any left over, that will also obviously go to PTSD UK. But I've got a lot of plans for this bike. So, my plan is to buy this bike. Hopefully, win and buy this bike. Then I'm going to go and collect it. This bike currently is advertised as being a bad starter, not being driven for ages, etc, etc. So my plan is to hopefully be able to purchase this bike. And then so we'll bring it back, we will get it running. And then my current idea, right, my loony coon crazy idea is currently this. A Honda Vision. We're going to do something to it to make it look funky and cool. Ideally get a load of graphics put all over it. And then I, what I want to currently do is I want to strap rockets to the back of it. And so when I press the secret red button, the rockets explode and we jet along and create the fastest Honda Vision in the world. All this to raise money. I want a flag coming off of it because I want it to be cool. I want glitter sparkles coming off of it because I want it to be cool, like ribbons of sparkles. I want the most funky, crazy graphics ever to be all over it. And that is my current vision. Now, I'm open to suggestions. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm up for people who want to help out. There's lots of things I want to do. Potentially, I want to get some kind of jacket, new jacket for the ride, something funky and fun. Potentially want to get a new helmet, but they're all wants. The most important thing right now is buying the bike and then making it the PTSD charity fundraising machine that I'm hoping loads of people are going to back when we go and do the trip and hopefully raise, like I said, I want to raise a thousand pounds. We've got about 240 or 260, I can't remember off the top of my head as I'm riding, but we've got that money already in the bank towards it. So we want to keep going. So like I said, massively again, if you're interested and you want to back the cost of this bike, the more money we get, the more daft, the more silly that we can go then please donate, £30 or more, we'll get your name on the bike. As soon as I bought it, and as soon as we're back, and as soon as we've got it running, and it's okay, and I can get the graphics organised, then there'll be a day for the big, big adventure. And it'll be open book again, people are more than welcome to come along, they're more than welcome to join, it's up to them. As always, it'll be an open book. But it'll be a laugh, it'll be a legend, and I'm well excited, absolutely well excited. So it's been an interesting few days, let's be quite honest. Um, I'm a little bit knackered and riding this monkey cycle as always has just cheered me up absolutely no end um, so I'm just going to enjoy a bit of a ride chill out to some tunes and uh, remember we've got some amazing times coming up because I've had a vision and we're going to get a vision and it's going to be an absolute laugh but anyway I'm just going to enjoy a chill out ride for a bit in all of us in our hearts there's love and love must realize we need to feel we need to use this warmth that could make bright our lives in all of us in our hearts there's love and light that we must realize we need to feel we need to use this warmth that could make bright our lives
side But now there's nobody by my side Okay, so there you have it. You have the bad news about the camper, but always look at the positive. This way, we're going to have an engine and everything on this van sorted for the next time I'm taking on an adventure. So we'll have a good solid van for years and years of future fun. Now, I've just, you know, as I've already said, the massive plus side this week is the donations coming in to help me fund this Honda Vision, this idea that I've got, and it's going to be bonkers and fun. And like I said, I'm massively humbled and almost lost for words, really. On, on the generosity and the support this channel gets. It, it, it means a lot to me, guys, so thank you so, so much. And of course, the patrons, the people that every single month send us a few quid to help basically fund this channel, help towards some of the cost of the equipment and fuel, etc. And that is just absolutely fantastic. And those guys get to see the videos first. So please, if you're thinking about becoming a patron to the channel, then just click on the link and you'll get to see things before everybody else does on YouTube. But back to YouTube. Thank you so much, guys. The ones that subscribe, the ones that leave comments, the ones that give the thumbs up, that also means a fantastic amount to me. We're growing this channel and it's getting bigger and bigger and I appreciate it. And of course, last but not least, the most important thing, as always, is eat pies, ride motorcycles, be happy. Take care, see you in the next episode.